I'm going to have five minutes for each candidate. Five minutes, and then the other candidate, five minutes. After the candidates have spoken for five minutes, we'll entertain some questions from the audience. Okay? And remember, we got to pertain to District 76. Rally questions. Okay? And then at the end, depending on time, it looks like we have time since the fire department didn't show up on the census people, then we'll give them some more time for closing. All right? Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Is that okay, Norma? All right. Here we go. Okay, here we go. First of all, Representative Chavez. Mr. Timekeeper. Thank you, and good evening to everybody. Bienvenidos a todos. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Borrego and the San Juan Center for holding this community forum and for have, establishing some fairness uh, and rules for, for the forum. Um, they, 13 years ago, I made a commitment when I was elected to public office to um, use my seniority to the fullest ability, and I've honored that commitment to the people of District 76 and to uh, the people of El Paso. I serve on three of the most important committees for the state legislature. Um, I serve on the Appropriations Committee, which is important to El Paso because that is where the funding is determined for uh, El Paso as well as the state. In addition, I serve on the Calendars Committee, which is important to us because it determines what bills are debated on the House floor. And finally, I serve on the Defense and Veteran Affairs Committee, which is important to El Paso because, of course, we have a lot of veterans and uh, we are a recipient of many, many people due to the realignment of BRAC. And, but today, I'm going to um, use the opportunity here to, to set some foundation of who I am as a person, and I want to honor um, the life of Cesar Chavez because in my opening statement, because tomorrow kicks off Cesar Chavez month, starting on March 31st and going on to the anniversary of his death, which is April 23rd. Um, I had the opportunity to meet Cesar Chavez in 1989 and march with him in Austin, Texas, and he, it was incredible to be with a absolutely civil rights giant. He was a man of small nature, um, not very tall, kind of like Carlos's size, but he had this aura and presence of him. Incredible, and um, I was the person who actually told him about the Tiananmen Square Massacre in June in 1989. That meeting impacted my life, and I was uh, committed because to, and I was named the first public action organizer for, for CESA when he passed away in 1993. I served for the United Farmers of America for two years, from between 1993 and 95, and I was working on not only uh, the, the farm worker movement, but I was also working to help my dad at the gas station. We had bought a gas station on the Federal Clean Air Act amendments. I was doing that simultaneously. I worked on campaigns in, in Texas, in California, in El Paso, South Texas, and I was able to work with uh, a civil rights giant, Dolores Huerta and Arturo Rodriguez, Arturo Rodriguez and the national leaders of the movement. After I was elected to public office, I was so impacted by Cesar Chavez and by his call for social justice um, that I worked for to preserve, preserving his legacy for us as a community, but also uh, in the actual legislation. Working with Senator Druan, I passed the bill that creates a state holiday for Cesar Chavez, and that is tomorrow. So state employees have the opportunity to have an optional state holiday if they so choose to take the day off. We are one of uh, six states, uh, and the states are growing, that have a holiday for Cesar. And I also passed the legislation that named Border Highway Cesar Chavez Highway. Um, since then, I you all know that I was, I was extremely involved in the State Board of Education and the right wing uh, uh, control of the State Board of Education and they're, they're trying to take away the 
sets up shop is being included in textbooks. And I worked with the United Farm Workers, with Arturo Rodriguez, and with the family of Caesar to make sure that not only did we keep Cesar Chavez in there, that we continue to honor him uh, for the next 10 years in textbooks. And um, that is what this race is really here is about. It is really about uh, values, and it's, it's about proven leadership. And that's what I'm here to tell you that I have 13 years of bills that I passed for the community. I passed bills for the city, for the county, for the Isleta del Sur Pueblo. I passed legislation for the school districts, increasing this last session $9 million for the school districts because they needed relief due to BRAC. I passed legislation for the business community, for Texas Tech Medical School, securing the $48 million. And I also passed legislation for UTEP creating the Long Border Studies Program at UTEP, funding it as well, uh, and various programs. And so I have a serious record of, of legislation that I've worked for this community. And this, this, this race is about an anti-worker group trying to take control and buying this house seat, but it's not for sale, okay? We have a district representative of workers. We are a working class district and I have committed my life and my work to the issues of working uh, workers for Texas. Thank you.